morning. My name is Juan Aranda. Uh, I work in Circe Technology Center and I'll be presenting today the final results of the ECRU project uh, through the KPIs that have been calculated as the project impact in the three lighthouse communities that make part of the demonstration activities of the project. In the lighthouse community in Spain, we have contacted 2,400 people from which 120 almost enrolled in the project and became part of the community. The different activities that were programmed for the new community members were attended by almost 50% of the community and there were also a participation in different information requests and other social media posts that took place along the project. A satisfaction survey was conducted among the uh, participants in this lighthouse community in Spain and the results were quite satisfactory in achieving 3.6 of our five scale satisfaction level. Most satisfaction items were dealing with the information provided, with the enrollment process and with the different communication channels that were set to communicate information to members. Whereas the lowest satisfaction items dealt with the low perception of economic savings achieved. In Germany, in Hasfurt, there was about 9,000 people contacted, among which 100 joined the community and became the community members. Almost 50% of people participated in the different workshops and activities programmed in the Lighthouse community. And this participation has different levels along the period in which the demonstration took place from October 22 to February 23. Also, the satisfaction survey gave very good results and participants rated their participation with almost four points, especially in the enrollment process, in the documentation provision, and also in the new innovative incentive, split incentive scheme that was put in place in this community. Again, the lowest satisfaction rates dealt with the perception of economic savings and this probably had to do with the high energy prices that took place during the demonstration time in the period October to February 23. Finally, the satisfaction survey in the third lighthouse community in Turkey, in the city of Busa, conducted by Uluk, gave the good results 4.6 points. This is the largest lighthouse community with almost 1,900 users involved in three large community buildings. And the main shortcoming of this community is the lack of photovoltaic. About environmental KPIs, uh, we measured both the demand and the self-generation in every community. In the case of Spain, in Alginet, there is a, a variation in demand that follows the seasonal profile being higher in summer and in winter and lower in spring and autumn. The same for the generation which had a peak in summer and a lower amount in winter. At the beginning of the demonstration, there was 12 kilowatts peak of installed power that increased to 24 at the end of the ECRU demonstration phase, triggering 23,000 euros investment. This self-consumption uh, attained 2.3% of the total demand of the community, and we estimate that following the ECRU model of sharing energy surplus among community members, we could increase this level of self-consumption within the community to 5% coverage of the demand, which is a very good number. Still, a higher photovoltaic installed base would enable a higher sharing of energy within this community, improving the numbers. In the community in Germany, the amount of available photovoltaic generation was much higher, with a self-consumption of 47% of the total community demand. This is a huge number that could still be increased by following the split incentive scheme put in place in ECRU and enabling to achieve an 85% of coverage in the community. This coverage is maximum in summer due to the high production and minimum in winter where demand exceeds the generation. However, the current surplus that could, can be seen on the green line can be decreased to a lower amount and thus resulting in a shorter surplus that can be consumed internally in the community. 
Finally, in the Ulog uh, lighthouse community, there is no photovoltaic to generate energy internally to be shared among the members. We can see a very constant consumption per dwelling from 90 to 110 kilowatts hour per month and it is quite evenly distributed along the year. This means that with a potential full photovoltaic generation within the community, we can uh, improve the savings made by the community and the potential in this large community is very high. An APP was uh, shared with the community members, especially in Spain and Germany, and a wide number of users made use of this application uh, to monitor their electricity consumption and demand. Um, so about 25% of the users in Germany used continuously and frequently the APP, whereas this uh, number reached 80% of users in Spain, especially after the workshops that were conducted for people to know more about the APP, about the usage, about the functionalities and about the benefits that using this APP would bring about. So th this is uh, an important learning of the project that by instructing users how to deal with the APP, their usage rate can increase a lot. So finally, as lessons learned of these demonstration activities in the ICRU project, we can end up saying that communities, about 100 members, are ideal in terms of uh, community management and allowing for a familiar feeling among members. It is good to have an APP as a tool to link members together and have interesting energy management features. Among these, the usage, we find out that a few users make the most of the usage rate, whereas the rest of the users only occasionally make use of the functionalities provided. There might be more engagement by uh, direct contact with them or personalized training actions or workshops. One of the problems that we see is that the metrics, environmental metrics should be transferred or converted into economic metrics for people to understand better their impacts. And people complain about not being too aware of how much savings they are making and more efforts should be done to put them into economic terms so that they can be easily understood. About low PV generation communities, they have a high potential to share the remaining surplus electricity with their associate members. However, large PV generation, although they perform better, they have more uh, savings uh, to be done, the, the room for improvement is re reduced. It is also interesting to see that one-stop service for inquiries and for information provision is something good for the communities to join people together. And activities like benchmark communications or success stories can further motivate people to take part in the community activities. That's it for me. Thank you very much.